New England Boating is brought to you by those who live like a pro with GMC Sierra Denali. We are professional grade. Also brought to you by Garmin. We'll take you there. Pursuit Boats. Explore life in a pursuit. Your New England Yamaha outboard dealer. Reliability starts here. Bosun's Marine. We share your passion. Welcome to New England Boating. I'm Parker Kelly. And I'm Tom Richardson. And today we're coming to you from Hyannis, Massachusetts on Cape Cod. That's right. We're actually in the town of Barnstable. And Hyannis is one of seven villages in Barnstable. Amazing. You are a font of information. <laughs> Beautiful harbor behind us, known as the transportation hub. Hyannis has a lot to offer. A lot of people, you know, take this, go to the islands, but you don't need to go to the islands. Go to the islands too, but also stay here. There's a lot going on right here in this harbor. There's a great marina. Mm -hmm. There's a maritime, a, a, a museum. maritime museum and uh, all kinds of arts and stuff going on. And of course the Kennedys played here. Oh, so well, 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 maybe we'll run into one of them. Yeah. New England boating Hyannis. Let's, Let's go. go. That lobster roll looks delicious. I'll give it to you. To another great destination. Are you shopping for me? Oh, there's a fish. Parker's going around. I'm going to miss. Nick, short, sharp sweeps with the rod. Oh, we want the fish that can eat that thing. <laughs> Hang on, Parker. Tom, don't choke. <laughs> Here out in the beautiful waters with uh, the assistant harbor master for Hyannis, uh, Brian Taylor. Nice to have you with us. Thank you for having me today. And Thanks we always lot. start the uh, the show with the harbor tour to tell the visiting boaters um, how to uh, navigate these waters. So can tell us where we are. Set us up here. So currently we are in Hyannis Port. Um, the HH buoy, which is right out in Nantucket Sound, would be the entrance buoy for Hyannis Harbor, and you would follow the AIDS navigation inwards to the Inner Harbor area. All right, so we're, we're heading away from the jetty. We're making our way into the Inner Harbor, or towards the Inner Harbor. So as you come through Dunbar, past Dunbar Point, that's where the no wake zone Yeah, just starts. before, it's gonna be the no wake at nine and 10. So nine, at buoys nine and 10, that's, that's where the no wake zone, and then it's, all, it's no wake all the way into the inner harbor. No wake, yeah, we prefer, you know, six mile an hour or less, but no wake, really. So right now we're entering Lewis Bay. That's correct. And uh, what, what do we have over on our on our starboard side? So on our starboard side over here is Egg Island. Uh, this is a, you know an anchorage area where some boats also beach up to go to the beach as well. Um, nice and protected. On nice the, and protected on the inside um, of Egg Island. So what's this pretty little uh, nice protected cove we're in? Right? So as you're coming into Hyannis Inner Harbor, uh, Fish Hills will be on your port side. And there in Fish Hills is a boat ramp that's very shallow, uh, limited parking. So what about the other other launch ramp on the harbor? Something so the, that, so the other that? ramp that we have is the Gary Brown boat ramp. Um, you can launch deeper hull vessels there. So as you enter the Anna Harbor area, you'll have Hyannis Marina on your starboard side, uh, which has a fuel dock. Um, they also have transient dockage. Is that the only place to get fuel in the Inner Harbor? That's correct. There's the shanties. I'm going to be visiting those later. And Baxter's, we're going to have lunch yep. there. Baxter's. <laughs> That's right. Yep. So right after Baxter's is Oyster Harbor Marine Dock here. Mm -hmm. And so th is this where all the commercial uh, fishing vessels tie up? So we have two town marinas, uh, Gateway and Bismore Marina. Bismore Marina uh, is a lot of commercial and uh, recreational boating. We also have like a pirate boat, we have tour boats there. You can also come in and have lunch if you want for a few hours, free of charge. And we do rent uh, slips out overnight, uh, transient dockage, both at Gateway Marina and Bismarck Park. What's the name of that park there? I think they have some- Azelton. Is it some sort of 4th of July celebration? They have, you know, they have festivals all year long, music, really? arts. Yep. They have the yoga festival. A they yoga have, festival? Yep, they have a yoga oh, festival. Oh, you would love that. No, you'd be all over that, Parker. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Brian. That was a great tour. That was a great tour. All very the way from the breakwater all the way in. Pretty extensive. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yes. All right. Well, you did a great job. And uh, well, you have a great harbor. And uh, must be a lot of fun for you to patrol it. It's very beautiful. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. Well, I always go about town, and here I am right on Main Street, just steps from Hyannis Harbor, and there are tons. I think I saw a sign that said something like 140 locally owned stores and shops, and then more than 40 restaurants, and there's cafes, and there's galleries, great places to visit right here on Main Street in Hyannis. Right across from the JFK Museum is Puritan of Cape Cod, a family-owned specialty store. This flagship store, one of four Puritans on Cape Cod, is about 16,000 square feet of fine men and women's clothing, 
gift, and more. I stopped by to meet Rick and Jim Penn, the third generation owners. When I went inside, I realized that this was no ordinary store, but an experience with a day spa downstairs and a fine dining restaurant at one end of the store and a cafe on the other, both also family owned. I enjoyed my tour thoroughly, and of course, I never turned down an oyster. Come on into the Naked Oyster. Oh yes, oh wow, look at this. They have all types of great oysters here that uh, you know, it's wonderful, and also we, you know, we love the fact that I can sit here and also take a peek and look into our store. <laughs> yes. So tell me about your restaurant. All right, so it's um, basically a bistro with a little French influence. We try to use as much local food as we can. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Cheers. 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 <laughs> what a fun surprise. Mm. Oh, that was mm. good. Oh. Okay. Happy mm. Friday afternoon. Mm. Right. <laughs> so right here on Ocean Street, right on the harbor, there are still there's hotels, there's restaurants like the Black Cat and Spankies, but something super cool are these artist shanties. There are seven of them right now. Apparently in 2018, they're planning on having even more, but there are seven of them and the artists rent them and they're all handmade, they're all local crafts, they're all um, different, there's fabric arts, there's woodworking. I'm gonna talk to some of them and uh, meet some of the artists. Well, it didn't take me long to find an artist. I'm here with John Flynn and he has the most gorgeous woodworking. And you just have to see it. Please tell us about yourself and about your, your art. All the wood is from salvaged wood around town. Either trees have been taken down in people's yards or uh, I work with an arborist and he has a lot of free wood that I can kind of grab and instead of going to firewood, try to make some wooden bowls and useful, beautiful items for people's kitchens. Now what got you into woodworking? Uh, I used to have winters free from working up in Alaska, so I would work in the summer on boats and then have a whole winter to do a hobby, so wood turning and wood carving became my uh, second gig. Would you go up there to fish? Is that why you went to Alaska to fish? I uh, actually tour boats. Oh, tour boats. Oh, so he's a boater too. How about yeah, that? Yeah. John Flynn, how neat. How can people find you? Do you have a website? Pacific Turns is the website. Yeah, okay. Uh, I encourage everyone to go check it out if yes. you're interested. Yes, definitely check it out. Meet Beverly Roberts, originally from Trinidad, now lives on Cape Cod and is a fiber artist. And so tell us about your art. It's beautiful, colorful. Yes, it is. I start with fiber. I'm a fiber artist. So I make my garment and then I hand paint or hand dye them to create scarves, dresses, tops, wraps, yeah. And all sorts of beachwear, which is perfect for Cape Cod. Perfect for Cape Cod. Now, do you have a website or Etsy I or do. somewhere else you sell? I do, I have a website, yes. Mm -hmm. What's it's, the website? Um, well, my, the name of my business is Mijiza Images. Mijiza means she works with her hands. Okay. Mijizaimages.com, that's my website. <laughs> she works with her hands. Come see Beverly and her beautiful work. Fiber artist. Good luck to you. Thank Continued you. Continued success. Thank you. Beautiful, Thank you beautiful coming. stuff. Thank you. Hauling your boat on a steep ramp can put a lot of wear and tear on your transmission, especially if you need to accelerate quickly to prevent the rig from rolling backwards. Not a problem with the GMC Sierra Denali, which features automatic hill start assist. When the Sierra Denali's monitoring system detects that the truck is parked on a grade of 5% or greater, hill start assist automatically engages the brakes for a maximum of two seconds while you make the transition between releasing the brake pedal and pressing the accelerator, keeping the truck from rolling backward. This allows you to accelerate smoothly as you haul the boat without having to use the emergency brake. Hill Start Assist, just another thoughtful feature of the GMC Sierra Denali designed to make trailering easier so you can have more fun on the water. How do you want to live? As a decent person? A fine human being? A good friend? Is that it? Good? Of course not. Parent of the year, better. Making her heart skip a beat, thump. One of a kind, undeniable. Like a boss, like a standard bearer, like a pro. We couldn't agree more. We are professional grade GMC. Pursuit, built to a higher standard. Many try to replicate. Pursuit continues to innovate with cutting edge features and top notch technology. Offshore, center console, dual console, sport coupe, and the sport tender. We have boats from 23 to 38 feet, and once you own one, you will feel the difference. We know you have a choice, and you can put your trust in us to deliver a vessel that will take you where you want to go. Visit your factory authorized dealer today and experience the passion we have built into each and every one of our boats. Visit PursuitBoats.com and explore, experience, enjoy your life in pursuit. When you're moving a big
big offshore boat, it's all about thrust and trust. For thrust, nothing compares to the Yamaha purpose-built 5.3-liter V8 Power Pioneer. And for trust, Yamaha's new F350C model becomes the only outboard in its horsepower class to feature a five-year limited warranty. Never settle for less than complete confidence and control in the open water. That's Yamaha V8 Power. Get the best and forget the rest. Well, we're here at the Hyannis Marina. I'm with Wayne Kirker and Judy Thibodeau, and uh, they have provided a great home for our pursuit. If you are bringing your boat to Hyannis Harbor, this is probably where you're gonna wanna end up. Uh, you guys have got it all. You've got a, well, we're on the fuel dock. Obviously, you can take care of the fuel needs of everybody, right? That certainly is an easy thing for us to do. That's right, and you've got gas and diesel, obviously, because you, you can accommodate some very large yachts here, right? Yeah, we do. In mm -hmm. fact, that one in the back of us over there is 126 feet, and she's been here all summer. So, uh, the average uh, recreational boater, you're going to be able to find a slip for them, usually, uh, even if it's uh, sort of last minute? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Normally, we're able to just take everybody that wants to get in here, and we do some squishing and squeezing, but we get it done. You get it done, right. You're very accommodating. That's awesome. I love to hear that. Judy, uh, there are a couple restaurants on, uh, in in the marina complex, right? Tell us about that. A couple great restaurants in the marina. Mm -hmm. uh, Trader Ed's is probably the most popular bar restaurant on Cape Cod. Yeah. Um, always a good time. Tugboats, another great restaurant, great food. Mm -hmm great views. You can't beat the view. The sunsets are amazing. And people who bring their boat here, right, you know, they, it's a dock. Those are dock and dine, so they can they can dock right. here while they dine. Right? It, that's right. Mm -hmm. we, we try to hold enough space and almost, we're almost able to accommodate everybody. Excellent. Now, and you're a full service marina, so you can handle service needs, you have engine repair, right? That's right. Uh, haul out. Obviously, I saw a big travel lift in the yard. Yeah, we can handle, we handle everything from little motorboats to mega yachts. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and on the haul out, we're good for 55 ton. Oh wow. So we're really, we've really got some great capabilities. Excellent and uh, wow you're perfectly situated right here in the inner harbor and everything that you want to get to is within walking distance really. Everything's in walking distance but in addition to that what we do is we provide free courtesy cars so somebody tying up with us can borrow a car, do their errands around town, go to dinner, whatever they want to do. It's free and uh, we've got three vehicles that are always out there. Ah, that's great. Well, you heard it from Wayne and Judy. They'll take care of you here at the Hyannis Marina. Come see them in Hyannis Harbor. A beautiful day here on Main Street in Hyannis and we just had the marina tour with Tom and I'm here with John Allen. He's the executive director of the JFK Museum. It really is a, a lens of Cape Cod for President Kennedy and his family and, and they came here as uh, history would uh, tell you and live local and the Kennedy family members today really come here and live local. With the centennial exhibit that people will see here, uh, it really does portray not only his whole life but some very important uh, stages of his life that are one historical and also when you take the family side you know very special yeah it really humanizes him and it, I can't I can't wait to see inside and so when you come in here there are timelines there are photographs there are quotes talk to me about this space how inspiring well you know it's, it's got different dimensions of inspiration there's the sailing inspiration there's a room called the ocean room and shows a model of the Victoria and great pictures of President Kennedy with his family. We have a timeline that shows what went on in each of the months of his candidacy, or presidency rather, both what he did and what went on in the world. It's really people will spend, you know, 15 minutes there. Then uh, one thing we did this year that's new is we have a, an exhibit called JFK is Everywhere and it's a, a map of the world and we ask people to take a colored post-it and list the JFK Boulevard, a building, a public oh, a library, facility, a right. library. Mm -hmm in their town and it's really remarkable. We've cleaned it about three times and it's back full again. And then the, as you progress around, there's the Rose Kennedy 
mother of a president. So we put this together and it's a, it's a, it shows Rose Kennedy through kind of six vignettes of her life. You know, the centerpiece is right here where we are now in the uh, Centennial exhibit and it really picks up each of the uh, decades of President Kennedy's 100 years. And although he was alive for 43 of those, uh, the fact of the matter is uh, you know, there's a legacy that goes on. And, uh, and you'll see that legacy in this exhibit. Now, do, do any of the Kennedys come in here? Have you, have you had, yes, yes. And, then, and, and what do they say? Are they, are they pleased? I, I would imagine. Great. They are. You know, I, I think what has been fun for me is some of the great grandchildren come in and see that Rose exhibit because they, they don't have that connection right. you know, with Rose. Most people have stories that are passed down, but you have an entire museum. You know. So it must be amazing for them to come. And of course, there's a quote right behind you. And so my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. I mean, all the beautiful quotes, the words of wisdom around here, just, just a beautiful museum. And you listen to that, and it's a very um, motivating, it's an assuring, it's, it's a call to action. And, yes, thinking about and it's, beyond it's yourself. It's authentic, yeah, yeah it's yeah. authentic. And I, I feel that's what we should be. And, and yet we have to be disruptive. We have to have the, the social media here. We have to bring it to the uh, uh, accessibility side. So we have to be a very relevant museum. We have to have the right content. That's what we're focusing on. Well, so nice to meet you. So nice to uh, tour around. I'm gonna definitely have a little bit more time in here. Should be on your bucket list. Thanks. Thank you. Great so to see nice you, to meet you. How do you want to live? As a decent person, a fine human being, a good friend. Is that it? Good? Of course not. Parent of the year? Better. Making her heart skip a beat. Thump. One of a kind. Undeniable. Like a boss. Like a standard bearer. Like a pro. We couldn't agree more. We are professional grade. GMC. Oh, hello, Tom. Kind of a famous Baxter's. That's right. This place is world famous, or at least Cape Cod famous, I think. It's not a seafood. All the way in here. Well, I can't wait to have uh, a lobster roll here. The lobster rolls are very... Oh, really? Good. You do? You did a little research on this I place did. beforehand. You can just smell the seafood right here. Oh, yeah. I know. I've been smelling seafood wherever we go in this <laughs> harbor, and it's making me really hungry. Exactly. And this is a goombay right. smash? This is a goombay smash. All right. Yes. Wow. And this is a rum punch with Mount Gay. Oh, beautiful. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, you got a little boat. <laughs> a mouthful. A mouthful. Oh, look, a little sailboat. Yeah. So it's bobbing away in there. <laughs> so cute, Tom. Huh? I love that. That looks like a margarita. What do they call it? Here? It's a Goombe smash. Wow. And it's very tasty and tropical. Yeah, with the lime. That's nice. This one's sweet, too. Parker, here's your lobster roll. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Oh. And the fish and chips. Oh, and now, is man. this the most famous or is this the most famous? The fish and chips. Are yeah. Here, Baxter's fish and chips. <laughs> But the lobster rolls. Didn't you read the sign we docked? <laughs> Tom. See, I know these things. Thank I got you. Enjoy. Thanks. Well, I'm here at the Cape Cod Maritime Museum. It's just steps from the Hyannis waterfront. With me is Chris Galazzi. He's the executive director of the museum. Let's go inside. Let's look at some of the exhibits you have here and some of the items, the, the artifacts relating to Cape Cod maritime history. And then we'll go check out the fun stuff and watch some boats being built. Sounds fantastic. Excellent. Let's go. Let's go. Tom, I appreciate your uh, coming up here into the gallery. It's My uh, pleasure. It's uh, terrific to be able to tell you a little bit about the John Stobart collection that we have well, on I'm display. A big, I'm a big fan of John Stobart's. I, lo I love, I've loved his work for, for many years. and. I can't believe I'm around all these originals. 19 originals and 12 uh, autographed signed prints. Uh, really an incredible collection. And John's been in to the gallery. He helped set up this exhibit. So one of the things that he's done in partnering with the museum is given these students who come in and families who come in to explore this artwork an opportunity to look at art and artwork and maritime themes around the world and then connect them to the actual skills that we're teaching downstairs in our boat shop. What is this room all about? The Captain Pete's uh, workshop? That's right, yes. He was a boat builder right here in Hyannis. Uh, uh, 1977, he passed away. Experience begins where you start. That was Pete's philosophy. Don't get overwhelmed by this fantastic uh, woodwork that he does and how he designed and created these boats. 
start your own project, you'll begin to learn, and as you learn, your skills will develop. So Tom, we're down here at the Cook Boat Shop, and this is where we actually teach boat building skills. Uh, I want to introduce Bruce Colvin. Hey, Bruce. Uh, hey. Nice Bruce to meet is you. The, actually the boat right that's building this boat with volunteers. Mm -hmm. And what are you going to do with the boat when it's finished? So we're going to sail it. Find a windy day and go out and see, right. see how well, that's goes. what it boats for, right? Yeah, I mean, you gotta, they got to enjoy it. Well, the interesting thing, I think. It works, and then right. ultimately we'll probably use it for a little bit and then put it up for sale. Okay, great. And then, right. build, and then build another and then one, build right? build another one, finance <laughs> another pro, you know, program down here in the, uh, yeah. in the shop. Excellent. So you have a lot of kids kids groups that come in and they'll build the Bevan skiffs. Yes. In, in how long does it usually take them to do that? Four kids, two hours, three hours a week. Yeah. About six weeks. Uh-huh. Gotcha. The three of us have built one in about seven hours. <laughs> <laughs> well, After what enough time. Yeah, yeah, sure. That's great. Well, you guys are doing some great work here. This is, uh, this is, uh, and, and it's also a lot of fun, I'll bet. Yeah. Yes. Excellent. Absolutely, and it's we're finding that this is the the most effective way to pass on those maritime skills that have preceded all of us by generations. Is these kids, if they choose to, they can go out to any one of the 25 local boatyards here on the Cape and get an entry level job. So it's a, we're we're looking at this as a skills development opportunity for these students, and we're excited to have them, and, and they're building beautiful boats. Yeah, they sure are. That's great, and what a great mission. How do you want to live? As a decent person? A fine human being? A good friend? Is that it? Good? Of course not. Parent of the year? Better. Making her heart skip a beat. Thump. One of a kind. Undeniable. Like a boss. Like a standard bearer. Like a pro. We couldn't agree more. We are professional grade. GMC. Hi, I'm Tim Leadham, owner of Bosun's Marine. At Bosun's Marine, we share your passion is more than just a tagline. For over 33 years, Bosun's Marine has been bringing you the finest power boats in the industry. We are committed to bringing you unparalleled service year-round, year after year. From offshore fishing and cruising yachts to small, family-oriented day boats, come visit us at one of our showrooms here in Mashpee on Cape Cod or at our new showroom in Peabody, just north of Boston. And be sure to check us out online at bosuns.com. Located on Bass River in West Dennis on beautiful Cape Cod, Bass River Marina has what you need to stay on the water. Our knowledgeable staff is here for all your boating needs, from sales to service to storage. Our award-winning service department continues to keep our customers boating all summer long. Visit our large heated showroom where we are an authorized dealer for Tidewater and Parker Boats. Whether you buy from us or stay with us, we're here to help you and your boating needs. I'm here with Jim Hoare. He is the program director for SAIL Cape Cod. It's a community access program to get the public on the water. Jim, tell us about SAIL Cape Cod and your mission. Well, basically our mission statement is to have access to without limitations. So anyone that wants to learn how to sail, we get them out there. So we have youth, we have adult, we have outreach, we have handicapped, we have adaptive. Mm -hmm. So we reach a wide variety from young kids from six and seven up to adults. This is a J22, it's called Sneakers, it was donated by Hyannis Shot Club. So tell us about how, it, how this is rigged up here, you guys. This chair is for anyone who has no use of their legs, but they can use their arms. So, so, it, and so you, it pivots around like this? Yes, we can move that chair so they can take the tiller and actually sail the boat. Oh really? Yeah, so they, they actually do the sailing? Oh yeah, and so, so they can actually move the chair to one side and hold the tiller and the instructor will be right here telling them how to do things. Oh, wow. We have a young 12-year-old um, boy who has multiple sclerosis. You should see him sail this thing. Yeah. It's awesome. Really? Oh yeah, he's awesome. <laughs> He's great. That's terrific. Well, I mean, your program is wonderful, Jim. You're getting people on the water who wouldn't otherwise have uh, the ability to do so. And uh, hey, best of luck with it. Thank you. Thank you. It's, uh, it's a lifelong dream. Love doing it. 
After exploring the town, I met up with Chris from the Maritime Museum, who offered to show me the museum's very first exhibit, a working replica of a catboat from the 1890s built right at the museum. Visitors are welcome to book a sail aboard Sarah, so that's exactly what I did. It was a glorious night for a sail in Hyannis Harbor. Now, how long have you guys had this boat? So, she was, uh, uh, construction was begun on Sarah in 2004, and it was the opening exhibit, the working exhibit, for the museum for about two years. And then she launched, uh, uh, Senator Kennedy came down and gave her a proper launching, and uh, she was launched right here into the harbor, actually right at that bulkhead. The tides fairly far out, um, so we'll, we'll stay, stay near the channel, but Sarah only draws about 18 inches. And that was a design intention, of course, because with our gently sloping, uh, mostly sandy shores, when the fishermen were done at the end of their day, they would come right onto the beach and un unload. And so that shallow draft and wide beam made for a um, stable platform while they were sailing and a great place to unload their fish or uh, mollusks or whatever they were out after that day. Here we go. Here we go, Chris. Should we sing a song or something as you race? If you uh, would do a sea shanty, yes. that would be fantastic. <laughs> Well, that's it for this episode of New England Boating from Hyannis. We're living the, like the Kennedys. As the sun <laughs> sinks below the horizon, yes. soaking up the last of the rays of this beautiful adventure in Hyannis. Yeah, what a gorgeous harbor. It is. What it a gorgeous is. sail I had. It, it, was it nice? Yes, yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. Chris from the Maritime Museum is just a pleasure. And the Maritime Museum itself is a pleasure. Yes, yes. And the JFK Museum yes. and just uh, the shanties, the art shanties. You haven't seen that yet. That's And who really can forget cool. our lovely Dock and Dine at Baxter's. Yeah. All of it really good stuff. And yeah. all of it you can check out by coming to Hyannis on your own. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> or you can watch it on the website after it airs. And this <laughs> Yeah. And speaking of the website, that's how you can find out where we're going to be next week. Yeah. And you can also check us out on social media as that's well. That's right. That's right. Until next week, I'm Parker Kelly. And I'm Tom Richardson. Voting from Hyannis. Bye bye. <laughs>